What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex. You can call me Default. Before we get into this video, I'm going to give you guys a little update. Um, first of all, this video is not going to be edited. I'm just uploading it straight up just like this. I'm still going to put a thumbnail and whatnot, but I'm just pretty much just trying to upload this as soon as possible. <clears throat> and the main reason for this is because I've literally had no time to edit videos lately because I've had so many videos to edit. I've had, I'm behind on like two One Piece episodes. I don't know if the new Jujutsu Kaisen chapter's out or not, but I mean, I'm going to try and get that out as well. Same way as this one. Other, like other videos I'm going to do are going to be edited. It's just this one that's, and like the JJK one that's not. But I just want to try and get these out as soon as possible. So I'm not like behind on even more videos. So that's why this isn't going to be edited. And for more updates as to what else is going on in my life, I recommend checking out the Discord server down below. Um, that's going to tell you everything you need to know because I'm going to be providing an update on there probably as soon as this video comes out. So anyway, that aside, um, we're officially getting into one piece, 100, 1114. And man, I'm excited to get into this. I've been missing one piece, dude. And that last chapter ended on such a fucking banger ending. So I'm excited to see where we're going from here on out. But anyway, with that being said, uh, let's just, let's just get right into it. Oh, and I've tried to avoid, like, any spoilers at all this week, so... I saw, like, maybe one, but it wasn't even crazy, so... <clears throat> Alright, so, we're starting it off. The chapter is called The Wings of Icarus. Okay, so, it starts off... It's got Yamato talking to our boy over here. Um, I'm blanking on his name. Fuck. Kinemon, Kinemon. And they're talking about going around the whole thing of Wano, it looks like. So, she's gonna go from, like, one place to the next... She's gonna talk to I don't, I don't is that the monk guy like the it's some guy of an afro I feel like that's the monk guy like that the fox dude turns into and in a shrine so it says <clears throat> Oni child Yamato and the Holy Inari shrine pilgrimage which I guess that's the Holy Inari shrine that's getting shown right here and Kinemon says I ask that you complete a pilgrimage to Hakumai and return the sword to Enma shrine in the late yasui stead oh that's yasui oh that's who that is okay that's the guy that um got executed like in the middle of the last arc okay so that's his sword i'm guessing okay that makes sense that's yeah dude poor yasui i'm glad we're getting like a, a little bit of an ending to that okay so now we're going back to egghead and we're at navy hq new world the world's gonna sink into the ocean? And he's just got, like, a bunch of marines all, like, in the base. Does he realize what he's saying? Dr. Vegapunk! And I don't know if there is, like... That might be the one that's, uh... I'm trying to remember her name. But she's the one that is in charge of... Is it... I think it's Full Body and Django. I forget what her name is, but she... I think that's her in the middle here. And then we got a Kainu. And he's just not saying anything. He's got the cigar in his mouth. And then we're going to Mock Town. Ooh, okay. Which, uh, I think this is Log Town, if I'm correct. Just, like, different translation. Someone's laughing. Who, who the hell's laughing? Uh, this guy's a ride! He's trying to panic everyone and take him down- And take down the world with him? How the heck is this world meant to sink, Mr. Genius? Ha ha ha. So they're all just, like, fucking pointing and laughing at him. That's crazy. I don't know if any of these people are relevant at all, but I don't I don't think they are. Damn, they're they're just all laughing at fucking Vegapunk. Wait, does that the the snail has uh the snail has um what's his name? Uh Doflamingo's like it's like Jolly Roger on it. That's interesting. The City of Water Seven. Ooh, okay, here we go. If he was just talking about the city, I'd believe him in an instant. The whole world? It'd take a lot more than Rising Tides to do that, right? I think that's Polly right there. Oh, shit. Here we go. The underwater prison impel down. And you got Doflamingo laughing. Foo, 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 foo. This just gets better and better. Isn't it your job to take care of inmates? Magellan, what are you going to do if the prison gets completely flooded? Damn, so he is just like... He's laughing because he thinks this prison's like fucked but like i mean it's already underwater so like what more is that gonna do oh magellan's right there you have a point the sudden sea level rise earlier caused havoc with some cells and that was only one meter how many meters do it take to cover the whole world 
More urban areas would be screwed if water levels rose just another five meters. <laughs> Maybe we should all evacuate. We can always go somewhere high up. Ryugu Kingdom, the Fishman Island. Ooh, okay. Father, is that really going to happen? Ugh. Hmm. Sounds so outlandish, Jamon. Okay, so that was, uh... What is her name? I was gonna say Orihime. I'm getting so used to... Uh, whore, it's whore something. Sorry, sorry guys, I'm blanking on names today, guys. It's been a crazy week. Uh, Princess, Hori, I, I'm sure I'll remember it at some point. But yeah, her and Neptune are just there. And they're just like, is that really gonna happen? And you got everyone else that's like relevant down there. Egghead, the island of the future. This is crazy talk, but the world's most acclaimed scientist is saying it. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it's all true, because it'll cause mass panic and chaos. Enough of the lies and madness, Vegapunk! Uh, that guy looks familiar. I forget who he is, though. Uh-oh, here's the... the Gorosei. Quickly, eradicate the broadcast snail! No, snuff out every living thing that you can sense. We can kneel over the ramifications later, and you can see all of them are panicked. You got, uh, Marcus Mars, uh, Jupiter, you've got... Ooh, you got fucking... Garcia's getting fucked over here. His, like, face is burning or something. Unless he's just pissed. And then you've got, um, what is his name? Ethan Venus Duro. He's, like, he's pissed. And then... Oh, actually, no, this is, this is Warman. Or this is, uh, Marcus Mars. That's, uh, Top Man Workery. Oh, and then here's Dwork. <laughs> Damn, Stella, did he really spill the beans on everything? Please humor me for a moment as I make a prediction. Okay, this is Vegapunk. He's still talking. Assuming my sensor data is accurate, a few days from now, Quasar, as I record this, an exceptionally vicious earthquake will rock the entire planet. Oh, shit. Oh, no. That's not good. Ooh, and I think we're in Alabasta on this one. That's That looks like Alabasta, at least. Don't tell me he's talking about today's earthquake. Didn't he die after recording this? It looks like Smoothie. Oh, actually, yeah, that's Smoothie. And, uh, the guy that looks like a clown. Interesting. Following this calamity, sea levels, the world, sea levels, the world over will rise by one meter. A number of islands will become uninhabitable. No way, you actually saw it coming? And naturally, many beaches will also be completely submerged. If this doesn't come to pass, feel free to disregard my message. This is freaky. How is he able to call it? Oh, okay, here's shit. Here's, uh, Kuzan. Kuzan's right here. Uh, however, assuming these events have transpired, then please pay heed to what I have to say. The earthquake I just predicted cannot, strictly speaking, be considered a natural phenomenon. Okay, so he's saying someone caused it. Oh, and something just exploded in, uh, on Egghead. But that might be the Gorosei fucking destroying shit. Uh-oh. Vegapunk, not another word. Get out of here. Oh, shit, Lilith just, uh, she's the one that fucking shot him with something. Get out of here. I've always yearned for peace and prosperity. Oh, and they're all, yeah, they're all fighting Jay Garcia. Ooh, uh, yo. Or no, yeah, I think that's Brooke. He said, yo. <laughs> and Chopper got stabbed. And Jay Garcia said, be gone. Oh, shit. Wait, is this the end of the chapter? What the fuck? And that brought me to what? Proved to be my first grave sin. Mars, what is the status of the power of station? I'm seeing to it now. We must preserve the contents of that room. I'm almost there. I was fixated in my dream of developing an everlasting energy source. Okay, so as as I'm saying this, it looks like Garcia Jay Garcia is going somewhere. I'm not too sure where. Hellbent on driving uh the world to a bigger and brighter future. Ugh, the mother, f the mother flame. Wait, is this him? Oh, he's activating the mother flame. But I flew too close to the stun. We have to eradicate all life forms. We must be relentless. Oh my god, is this it? Holy shit! Whoa, the mother flame looks fucking insane. Yeah, so he switched to his uh, human form. It looks like, and he's activating it. Not yet. Oh wait. Oh shit. Okay, so it's not over yet. I shouldn't get ahead of myself though. Uh, in order to understand... Okay, wait, and now... 
Let's keep going with, like, everyone else talking. It's no use. Nothing's working. Oh, 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 shit. The fucking giant's walking over. What is it even? I didn't, we didn't even phase it. Youch, that's hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me run to a crisp if we don't hurry. It looks like they're running from uh, Marcus. Mo oh, shit, he's spitting fire out. And, uh, what is he saying? In order to understand where the world is heading, we must first address the past. Specifically, what happened between 900 and 800 years ago, a century long period that was most. Uh, ooh, I'm sorry, I'm fucking yapping right now, not correctly. Between 900 and 800 years ago, a century-long period that most think of as a blank part of history. And out showing Marie Joie, and that's Vegapunk's face talking. Those miserable Marines, what are they doing? Hurry and shut this down, or shut this Cretan's mouth. Fittingly, it's known as the Void Century, since all information about it has been either erased or lost. And that is a true for the most part, but there's one last key to unlocking some scraps and echoes behind, from then. And then... This is uh, one of the... I think this is the girl from Saba Odi, the one that was with Charlos and the other guy. Death is too good for him. Bring back his body. I'll tear him limb from limb. The Void Sentry, what is he talking about? Or at least I think that's... Uh, I don't know who's talking in this one. It's kind of hard to tell. Wait, is that Saul? The Poneglyph? Those lovely... Those lonely stones dwelling in various quiet and calm lands all over the globe... The text inscribed on them, once decoded, is our one and only method. Get it! <laughs> yeah, it's him! He's fucking sitting in Elbath! A glimpse of unknown past. And, oh, we're now we're in uh, Orange Town. Hey, did you know that way back when 20 kings teamed up to create the world? Uh, I wonder if this old timer knows about any of them. Who's, who can say? What do you think, Chow Chow? Arf! I can't believe they showed Chow Chow. Damn, it's probably been a while since... Oh, and his face is painted on the thing. That's funny. Despite this, any attempts to decipher the Poneglyphs is... Oh, okay, and there's... Uh, I think that's Amazon Lily, where uh, the girl that saved Luffy... Uh, despite this, any attempts to decipher the Poneglyphs is considered taboo by the world government. And so I felt compelled to commit my second grave sin. I betrayed the government... And studied this forbidden era myself. Oh shit. I was fortunate enough to inherit several documents from a certain group of exceptional archaeologists. And that allowed me to decipher a number of poneglyphs. Zoro-san! Jinbei-san! And this is Rook talking. And then, you know, Robin's freaking out because she's hearing... she's She knows he's talking about... um, What is it called? Uh, Ohara, Ohara. I pursued this research as far as possible, and I have no regrets. History is a story, after all. Whoa, the ground's moving. Look, the crowd, the clouds are stretching. This must be what Edison was talking about. Ah! That's right! With the edge of the front clouds further out, we'll be able to leap into the ocean! Wheeze, wheeze. Y'all straw hats had better make it. Don't you dare get caught by the government. Oh, what happened to him? Did he get hit? Did he get caught? He's not dead, right? He's not gonna die? Whoa, okay, here's a big panel. And in truth, I only know a small fragment of this 100-year-long tale. Um, it wouldn't be right to leave you without with baseless speculation, so I'll, I'll limit myself to the facts as I know them. The star of this story... And now Straw Hats! It's, it's less... It's pointless! Oh, and he's trying to fight... Uh, Marcus Mars was born 900 years ago in a bountiful and advanced kiz kingdom. This next move is going to work. That's, that was Luffy right there. Was born 900 years in a bountiful, bountiful and advanced kingdom. And just like the legendary sun god Nika from the fables of Elbaf, he too fought with a stretchy and elastic body. They call him Joy Boy. Stop it, you're cracking us up. He was the first man to take the seas. The first one to be called a pirate. Oh, the original pirate. So Joy Boy is the original pirate. Oh, man. Break next week. Dude, what a fucking crazy chapter. Holy shit. Dude, this was insane. Okay, so I'm going to try and speed run through this shit. Just to kind of, uh, you know, 
I want to I want to look out and point the uh, crazy things. So Yamato's story interesting, but it's not really the main focus of today. So main focus we've got to talk about is uh, everyone we see here. So we've got Polly here, who's in Water Seven. Um, I forget who the other guy's name is that's behind him, but they're talking there. Um, people in Mock Town are all just pointing and laughing at Vega Punk. You've got Doflamingo, who Doflamingo's just he's having a crack at this dude because he's like, yeah, I know all this shit. I already knew all this. Like this isn't this is not news to me. You've got um, Neptune, and I still have bl I'm blanking on her name, but. Um, the Mermaid Princess, the one that's pretty much literally, um, I was going to say Neptune, Poseidon, like they're both talking, it's, it's Hori something, I know it's Hori something, but yeah, so they're, they're talking there about that, um, you've got this Marine Admiral, which I'm still blinking on who that is, I know, I've seen him before, I just don't remember who it is. You've got, wait, I just realized this one is, uh, the guy from Long Ring Long Land. I think that's him at least. I want to say it's him because it, he's, there's like a really tall horse. I wanted to say it was giraffe, but it's not. And it looks like the old man from there. So that's probably Long Ring Long Land. And he's not saying anything. Everyone's just all listening. Kuzan's listening. You've got. The Straw Hats were taking it for Robin. But man, the biggest highlight has got to be the Mother Flame panel of Saturn trying to activate it. Like, this shit is crazy. He's just going to destroy it. And then... Yeah, no. Saul? Saul being seen again? That's crazy. That's insane. Um, Chow Chow we haven't seen in the longest fucking time. Is there anyone else that, like, shows up that's kind of crazy? But, I mean, the big thing is just mainly that, like, we're getting the news that, like, Vegapunk is going to talk about the shit from the thousand-year, like, or sorry, a hundred-year-long tale of Joy Boy. That's crazy. I wonder if he's going to say, like, who e I My theory is still this, guys. I think that Vegapunk knows who Emu is and is going to reveal who Emu is because there's no way. There's no way he doesn't know. I feel like that's going to be the point where the last scene in one of these chapters is just going to be Emu getting revealed. I'm very, very, very certain that's when it's going to happen. Vegapunk's going to say, in the name of this this uh, ruler of this kingdom was, and it says the name, and we get to see him, or something along those lines. It's going to be fucking crazy. But he also confirmed that this isn't like a natural thing. Someone's doing this, and it's obviously Emu. Oh, this is going to lead up to the final war, dude. This is going to be insane. I'm so excited to see where we go with this. But anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going to be trying to release more content within, like, the, you know, or at least the anime content. I'm going to try and catch up on it because I know I'm a little bit behind. Like I said, I'm so, so sorry about it. Um, feel free to join the Discord down below. We're going to talk more about it later there. Or at least I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out an update and talk about it just so people have an idea of what's going on. But with that being said... Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Keep it virtual. Peace.